Now, a special guest joining us today to help me explain this special birth is a non-Arab who has come in to share his experiences with us and inspire us about how he, easy he has found learning Arabic and how beneficial it has been. Now, before we meet him, let me just give you a little bit of background about him. He has spent his holidays in Cairo, Egypt, learning a beautiful language which he is very passionate about. MashaAllah, within a few weeks he managed to grasp the foundations of Arabic Fusha, which is Quranic Arabic, and he can now communicate in Arabic, which is a hard language, daily. And this is why today's show is going to be pretty special, as our guest will not be answering us in English, but in Arabic. Now, don't you off if you don't understand Arabic, because I will be translating his responses for you. And also, why don't you call in live and tell us about your experiences with Arabic, or anything else that you would like to share. So let's meet him. Assalamu alaikum brother Ali Mahdi Daya. How are you? Wa alaikum wa salam. Ana bi khair alhamdulillah. Kayf haluk? Ana bi khair alhamdulillah. Um sa'idatan bi liqa'ik. Ana as'ad. So we said our greetings and I believe that he is going to be responding to all of our questions today in Arabic as I mentioned. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's very impressive. Now before we get there, we're going to start from a surah with a surah from the Holy Quran. For us, am I right? Yeah. Surah Al Alaq. Okay. Um, I would like to have a yeah. listen, please. Okay. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Iqra' bism Rabbika al-ladhi khalaq khalaq al-insan min alaq. Iqra' wa Rabbuk al-akram. الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم كلا إن الإنسان لا يطغى أرآه استغنى إن إلى ربك رجع أرأيت الذي ينها عبدا إذا صلى صدق الله العلي العظيم MashaAllah, that was such a beautiful recitation. And thank you a lot for stopping before the last ayah, which is a wajib sajda. Now, as I mentioned, today's show is going to go a bit differently. So, I mentioned that you went to Egypt in your holidays, but when exactly did you travel to Egypt? So, he traveled to Egypt twice last year. Um, and the first part um, trip was in the summer holidays for five weeks. And the second time was during the Christmas holidays in December for two weeks. Now, what did you do when you were there and who went with you? So the first time he went with his mother, but the second time he went with his sister also. So when he was in Cairo, he learned the Arabic language so that he can help himself understand the Quran better. The lessons were quite intensive. He studied for five, day, five hours every day, every week. Now, um, I understand that you were at an institute where you were taught Arabic, and can you explain a little about that institute? Okay. Um, Markaz al Fajr, which is the name of the institute, is located in Nasr city, which is in Cairo. ومعلمون فيه ماهرون بالتدريس وهم من جامعة أزهر. Um, the institute was amazing and the teachers were qualified highly from Al Azhar University, which is a very well known university in Egypt. Now, where did you stay when you were in Egypt and was it at the school you were studying at? لا. أكنا في الشقة التي على مسافة عشر دقائق من المركز الفجر. Um, no, he did not stay at the school. He lived in an apartment which was just a 10 minute walk from Markaz al Fajr. Okay, so about Markaz al Fajr, how did you find the teaching? Um, he was very impressed by the teaching there. 
ندرس عن طريق الحوارات بالعربية ثم القواعد والإملاء. He studied learning grammar, dictation, and working through exercises. Um, وهناك قسم قسم الطلاب وقسم الطالبات مختلف. And the female students and the male students were separated. Okay, so what time did you leave the flat every day, and what mode of transport did you take to the markers? Okay, عادة نخرج من الشقة الساعة ثامنة صباحا بعد تداول الفطور. So they left at eight in the morning after eating breakfast and praying Salat al-Fajr. ونذهب إلى المركز ماشيا إذا كان الجو معتدل. Um, if the weather was good, then they went to the markers walking. ولكن عندما يكون الجو باردا نركب سيارة العجرة إلى المركز الفجر. But if the weather was cold, like it usually is around here, they took the taxi. Okay, so how does the system work? Like moving up levels, how do you do that? Okay, um, you join Markaz al Fajr 14 مستوى. So there were 14 levels in Markaz al Fajr. يمتد كل مستوى لمدة أسبوعي. And every level um, took two weeks. وكنت أخاف من هذا الاختبار بعد أسبوعي. Every two weeks there was a test, and poor Ali was scared of this test every two weeks. Okay, so um, what did you do in your breaks? Because I'm sure you had a bunch of breaks. Okay, um, لدينا ثلاثة استراحة في اليوم. There were three breaks a day. كل الاستراحة خمسة عشر دقائق. And each one was fifteen minutes. وفي الاستراحة نأكل شوكولاتة ونشرب أسير. And in each break, they ate chocolate and drank um, juice. ونتكلم إلى أصدقائي ومعلمي. And he socialized with his friends and teachers. Okay, so um, that sounds very interesting and fun. I would have loved to be there. But now, the all-important question that's always on our minds. What was the food like and what did you generally eat? Um, ليس لدينا وقت كثير uh, للطبخ لأن مشغول جداً. They were so busy that they didn't get much time to cook. كل يوم نذهب إلى المطعم. Every day they went to a restaurant. يوجد القاهرة مركز التسوق. And in Cairo there is a large shopping center. اسمه City Star. And that shopping center is called City Star. وهناك لدي مطعم كثير مثل McDonald's, Hardee's, Pizza Hut. And in there were a lot of restaurants, like everybody knows these. McDonald's, Hardee's, Pizza Hut, Burger King, yeah. the list goes on. Alright, so going to Egypt, he must have learned a lot about their culture, food and language. But what about the current affairs? Uh, and at the night, they did their homework. And they visited their neighbours. Okay, and we know that you went to learn Arabic, so you were studying there. But I'm pretty sure you had some spare time, right? So how did you spend this? We spent. They spent some of the holiday on the beach. And he had a lot of fun with his mother and sister. زورنا أبو هول أحرام الجيزة متحف المصري. They visited many landmarks like the Sphinx, the Pyramids of Giza, and a lot of museums. And, and afterwards, Sharm el Sheikh, which is very beautiful. I am actually very intrigued by this because I've always wanted to go to Egypt for that purpose. And a while ago, I went to Morocco, though, so I guess that's close enough. Yeah. Now, um, do you believe that going to Egypt boosted your confidence and improved your Arabic generally? Of course, without a doubt. Um, um, he spoke Arabic to people on the streets. And of course you can't do that in London because not many people speak Arabic. Um, Mashallah, we can see that all this has paid off with these brilliant responses that you were giving us in Arabic. Now, after your experience, this sounds like a no-brainer, but are you considering going to Egypt anytime soon? Um, الآن أدرس اللغة العربية uh, لإختبار قادم GCSE. So he's studying um, 
Arabic for a future Arabic GCSE that he's planning to take. Uh, and inshallah he may be going to Egypt again. Now, as amazing it, as it has been to listen to you answer these questions in Arabic, um, I'm sure you could continue to talk in Arabic, but shall we switch to English so that our yeah. viewers can hear some first-hand advice from you, Ali? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, um, do you have any advice that you would like to give people if they want to learn Arabic? Okay, so I'm very honoured that I've had the opportunity to learn uh, the Arabic language. It's a very beautiful language, um, and it's the most rewarding experience I've had. Um, for the young view viewers over here, I would recommend you to try and learn Arabic for the future, especially when you're nice and young, um, because it, it's the language of the Quran, and I understand some of the uh, words in the Quran and Hadith and um, other Arabic contexts, and it's very helpful. If um, you want any further advice, or feel free to email me at elidaya10 at gmail.com. I repeat, elidaya10 at gmail.com. Um, I'll be happy to help you in any way I can. Thank um, you for listening and inviting me to the studio. Thank you for coming in. Now, Arabic is a very important language. Uh, not only is it the language of the Quran, but it's the language chosen especially by Allah. And um, it's the language of Alam al Barzakh, which is the language um, that is used after death and in heaven and before life, even. Um, a lot of people have tried to wipe out Arabic from existence because it is so important. But thanks to people like you, and any Arabic speakers that are generous enough to help teach the language to other people. Arabic lives on and Islam is as strong as ever.